Joining us now, a man we have no questions about. He's headed to nationals in the high jump in Eugene, Oregon, in Tracktown, USA. Zach Blackham of BYU Track and Field. Welcome to Studio B, Zach. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. How long have you been high jumping? Uh, I started in about eighth grade, but it's a little, little blurry on seventh. Did I go to track? practice or did i just say i did track yeah but I, for sure eighth grade so been a while you've tracked since eighth grade yeah how did you get involved in the hundred um so originally i started with the basic the hundred long jump you know kind of what everybody did and one day our our coach just said hey i signed you up for the high jump and i was like well what's that he's like oh go over this girl will will give you the basics as you're warming up to jump it starts in like 15 minutes <laughs> so i was like Okay, so I learned a little bit as I warmed up. I actually got disqualified for jumping off of two feet because <laughs> you're supposed to jump off one. Yeah. So That's Mr. what happens when your coach signs you up and says, hey, you do this in 15 minutes. Dick Fosbear is over there going, nope. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I started. <laughs> Stick with it, and you Holy never know what cow. will happen. There did you, you I mean, at what point did you realize, hey, I might actually be pretty good at this? Uh, I think it was probably – end of junior year i was like oh i i'm pretty good at this and then in uh senior year i was like wow i might actually be able to do this in college but i mean you never really know did you win state where were you ranked in the state when you when you realized you were pretty good um i jumped seven feet in high school and so i was number one in the state and that's kind of when it started to sink in yeah and i was like well i could maybe this could go somewhere so (laughs) And and you finished? Did I read right? Seventh uh, in the regionals and qualified yeah, for the NCAA for seventh. Uh-huh. championships. What did that mean to uh, to be able to qualify to go to uh, Track Town USA next week? Um, I'm just really happy to to be there. This is this was my third regionals, um, and so I finally put it together and qualified yeah. for the third one. So um, I'm just excited to try and improve on my mark more than just. I mean, I'm excited to be there as well, but. I want to be able to to jump a little bit higher. So let's dive into the metrics of that. Uh, first of all, where do you, where do you rank nationally right now? Um, as far as collegiately or with everybody like pros? collegiately, uh, collegiately from regionals, I'm not sure. Uh, going in with West Region, I was seventh and I think eighth in the nation hmm. going in with with everybody. But I don't. I'm not sure if they change that with after the regional meet if they like kind of switch it up for the national meet. Not sure exactly. Okay. But. And you said you wanted to improve on your mark. So what? how high is that? How high do you want to jump at nationals to be like, yes, I, I hit what I wanted to hit? So I've jumped 7'3", which is 221 in metrics. Um, I want to go a centimeter or two higher. Just I, I'm Right now I'm kind of on the edge for Olympic trials. Like I, I could go depending on how everyone else jumps. Mm. Um, but I think if I can go two or three more centimeters, then I have a really good shot of going there. So that's the goal. Mm. So you want to go from Mark Eaton to Yao Ming. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> as far as how high? Jumping yeah. over them? From like I would be going three to seven, yeah. four or seven, five. Which uh, it's kind of weird when you put it in that perspective. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> Just have them stand there. Yeah. That's yeah. so high. Yeah, that yeah. is high. It's pretty high. Walk us through the mindset of – of the process of okay, I'm thinking this as I'm going, and then and then these are what my keys are. And okay. Doctor Manning told me this, and I'm thinking about this at this time. Okay, so usually going in, uh, I have a certain objective. Usually, it's not a physical like I'm going to jump this high. It's usually kind of overall have fun, talk with the people I'm competing with, um, relax a little bit, things like that. And then I have three cues usually that. I focus on right before I jump. And then as I'm getting ready to jump, I just kind of block out, you know, the you know, what I need to block out and I just go. And the biggest thing for me is just breathing and having fun. And when I do that, the rest kind of just happens and I tell that to Spencer out. every day. The same two things. That's crazy. <laughs> to use those. When do you know that it's a good jump? Um sometimes it's the approach, like as you're coming in. And those are the ones where you get excited and you tend to like overthink and mess up while you're jumping. Mm. But I think the when you're over the top of the bar and you're starting to to bring up your legs, you can tell how you killed it. And usually that's when you get really excited. So, for those wondering, uh, high jump finals next Friday, June 10th at 7 Eastern. I believe they will be streamed on uh, ESPN3.com. So watch so. ESPN if you have that. Uh, You can watch Zach Blackham compete for BYU in the high jump finals nationally, collegiate in Tracktown, USA. 
interesting story we picked up from uh, Rena Chessman. She's 33 years old, former BYU track and field athlete. She just qualified for the Olympic trials in the steeplechase. She told us yesterday she has not had soda in 19 years. Which is crazy. Okay, so as a high jumper, do you have to watch your soda intake? Or does, does the sugar actually help you jump higher? Some guys will do five-hour energy and whatever. They have their Red Bull or whatever. I don't before I jump. I, I do drink soda every once in a while, though. I try not to I try not to drink it, but I'll celebrate with a root beer or something. <laughs> you celebrate with a that, root that beer? That is the most Provo answer <laughs> of all time. I love it. Clearly, you have to watch out for your frame because you're it's like— hard. You might put how, on a little weight. How tall are you, Zach? I'm 6'8 with shoes. 6'8. Awesome. Woo! Well, there you go, man. Uh, so you can jump. You can jump higher than your height. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Think that's, about that, that. That's like well, like, and it's not just and it's not just higher. It's like seven inches, right? So h- how many people are competing in the finals? And then do you, uh, you said you're not focused necessarily on the placement, but just jumping higher mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah. So there there are 24. They take 12 from each region that qualified at the regional meet, and then they put them together for the final. So 24 guys. And who uh, is it? Top eight gets all American. Uh, I think it's top eight. First team. Top eight. Yeah, first is team all American. Do you have a goal to be in that top? I'd eight? like to be in the top eight. I mean, that's kind of it's a side goal. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd if I could if I was dead last and I jumped as high as I wanted to, that would be sweet. I would love go. that. It's about personal best, and I, I know that's a huge thing in track and field. So let's say that best case scenario happens, and you go 222. Okay, mm-hmm. you jump 73, 221 in the metrics, and you and you jump a centimeter or two higher. Do you do you think if you do that, Olympic trials will happen? One centimeter higher? Yeah. Um, it's very very likely. I mean, it's a possibility. So last the last Olympic trials, one man that jumped 222 did get in to the um, to the trials. So that's kind of where I based off my, my goals. I'd like to go higher than that, but it, it is possible. We'll just have to see, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to go to break, but who's your favorite Orem Tiger alum? Oh, Ch- Chad Lewis, Chad when Lewis. I was in high school, was <laughs> a, big, a big deal for me, watching him hurdle people. Track guy, yeah, track guy. He high jumps, right. yeah. He had an he impact. Had, he yeah, had an impact true. on you. Yeah. You and Chad Lewis, the Orem High high jumpers. <laughs> Congratulations on getting the nationals. Thank you. I We're appreciate very it. excited. Celebrate for with you. the root beer. We, we will yeah. celebrate as well. That's the way <laughs> we, we roll. We can too. do that with you. A and W or uh, Barks or Mug. A and W or Mug. A Mug. Those, okay. are, those okay. are the best, yeah. I think. We need you to sign our stretch wide flag if you don't mind, uh, oh. Zach. We'd like your autograph, and uh, let's get him to BYU Sports Nation Karma to yeah. go and jump high at Nationals in Eugene, Oregon.